and let me get the first big behemoth to the table coming in at six foot two, three hundred and sixty-three pounds. He's coming from all the way from New Zealand, and I am talking about the beast, Matteo Rangi, Hena Mori. He trained really hard for this. Six foot two, three hundred sixty-three pounds. Just. 18 inch forearms, that's insane. Making a comeback to Supermatch format, coming in at six foot two, 235 pounds. He is raw power. And I'm talking about Lars Raw Barker. Both of them are super nice and it was very hard for them even to try to trash talk each other. So there's no trash talk. Six foot two, 235 pounds. Let's see how this goes. Uh, there's a good chance, not good chance, but about 99% chance it goes to the strap straight away. Oh, I'm nope. back here, Ray. Look at this, mate. Two big units ready to go. I cannot wait for round number one. Shoulder. He is coming in big. Lars Rabak, and he's going straight for that press. Let's see if it goes straight to the straps, Ray. Ready. Bang. Oh! Matu Rangi takes a round one with some power, Ray. I think there was an... Was there elbow foul? Yeah, that was elbow foul, but in losing position. An elbow foul for Lars Robakin. He has one elbow foul right now. Uh, and it's, we're going to see a restart of round number one. Naku. Naku. I see the Naku. I see the Naku. Matewe is looking wrist. more confident. Go! Ah! And one elbow foul. And then. As the referees there thought there was a couple of elbow fouls there. No, Haristo, that's one, one all right. Oh, we are in a match. <laughs> looks like we are. You can see by Lars' face, everything just changed. Everything just changed. Yeah, here, yeah. So hearing Haristo there. Go! Elbow off the pad for Mato Yarangi. So it's two fouls, Marate. One foul, Lars Rabakin. Here we go. Start us up. Start us up. Go! Bang! There's the hit That's the top of the press. And we have the strap. Look at this. Look at this, you see? A bit of a change, yeah. yeah. Great uh, call no. there, Ray. But, but I still think he's going to go sideways. Let's see if he tries to top roll on this one. That would be interesting. He's going backwards. He went for a top roll. Hit is there and the screen wow. is looking. He is just wow. stopped an inch from the pad. And the hits are coming from Matteo Rangi. But Lars is looking very comfortable. Elbow went off yeah. the pad. For who? Pushed him off. Yeah. That's a foul on you. Uh, winner, Lars. Lars wins this one. Round one, yeah. It was clear well, as day. Hey, that. guys, everyone who bought the paper, <laughs> you didn't expect that, right? You didn't expect <laughs> Lars Rorbakin to go for a top roll. So, let's see another setup. Again, for the press. Again, for the top roll. Shoulder. Made is very open. Go! Elbow up. Elbow. Fuck. First time, first time ever he swears. He needs, he needs a different setup if he wants to keep his elbow on the pad. He's allowing, when he takes that low, he... He is allowing Lars to get his wrist on wrist much better. Oh, here we but go. it's just round two. Anything yeah, and everything yeah. will happen. Shoulder. Round two. Go. Bang! There's the hit. The press is in there. Coming off the pad. Okay. But we saw that world famous, pa uh, world famous press in that one. We're still in round Lars number two. Going for a press. We knew it was coming. The Can the Cafe Marte get something Go. in round two? Now there it is. Much the better, much better. Attack this pronator, got the wrist, and gets the pin. Oh, bang! 1-1. One, one. We're in a match. We are in a match, ladies and gentlemen. First match, as I thought, will not disappoint. If that, was, that, that wasn't the King's move. <laughs> Here we go. The determination on Marte. The demeanor of Lars. Wrist. Knuckle a little bit down. Little. I see the knuckle now. Very so low wrist. grip for yeah, Madhavi. He's loading. He's loading. Wait, Rotate. As you can hear there. Go! Oh. Press incoming. Slip out. Strap. Because it's 50, 60 kilos Shoulder. the difference. Yes. Rotate. Rotate. The longer hit. it goes, the cardio. Yeah. Again, went for a top roll. Get the better secure because Madhavi was l such so low. Gets to position. Tries to bleed him out. Bleeds him out a little bit. And he's just holding there. 
Is Mate going to continue the fight? No, he no, concedes. Great move by Lars Two one. Hey, Two I, one. I, I would never, never imagine that Lars Roebuckhead would top roll and it would work yeah. better than his press. But here we are. Huh? Round number four. Brilliant stuff. And it's 2-1 to Lars Rubakin. There may be better. Right. It could be better because he wants to hold on. He wants Lars to stay there, not to slip Go. under. Ah. ah. And the Again. elbow comes off. Three. So I think Go. it's fully open. Everything is open. This match is still going live. Stop. Elbow <sighs> off the bad. Second elbow foul for Madhavi. Here we go. Round Go. number four. There's a hit there. Kind of weird stop. Matei thought it was a, f uh, a false start, but that's okay. We're getting to the strap as we get into round number four. They're all strapped, okay. Open. ready looks, to go. Looks like a top roll. Looks like a top roll. But could also go for a press, but most likely backwards. Backwards, stops him. hit from Matei Rangi. Takes the wrist. Again, ladies and gentlemen. Lars Orbakan takes the wrist of Matovic. <laughs> oh, look at the vision there, and all the veins are ready to burst. Has Mate got anything there? No, he doesn't. Lars Orbakan gets round number four. Three to one. Oh, Three what to one. a lead. What a lead from Lars Orbakan. Unbelievable stuff. And doesn't even go there. And, and, and you have confidence in that strength, but you never get to test it out. There it is there. They're not even holding on to each other. For real. Uh, Can you mark my elbow? <laughs> Can you mark my elbow? <laughs> and Matei Rangi coming off One the elbow back foul. There. Probably the strongest Norwegian arm wrestler of all time. Yeah, 100% there. 100%. And there is, there is the strongest uh, New Zealand's arm wrestler of all time. Absolutely. Undefeated in his own country for the last 10 years. He is looking incredible. Go! There's the hit, Top there's roll. that look. Fuck. Concedes the match. Four to one. Let's see if they're going to pull round number six. I can't judge. Woo! Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Round number six, straight to the strap. Ra them. Round number one didn't disappoint okay. at all. Good. This is what I expected uh, yeah, this to be. Uh, an evenly fought mm -hmm. match Shoulder. that both guys could have chances of winning. And that's what we saw. But Shoulder. we never expected the hit factor from Lars Orbaken. Go! <laughs> oh, huge hit there. But Lars is engaged every Lars single protect, time. He protects his pronator so well. Look at that. Pronator, back pressure, right in that position. Just holding it strong. And then the, he will slowly wrist curl, wrist curl, pull him back, change the position, and, and you drain on a different speeds just, uh, there. Holding him there. Nice little stop there by <laughs> Matteo Arangi. We can uh, Lars Rabagan put the sword to him. We've got a battle here. I think he might have played with his food too much there. <laughs> oh, we get it again. That's we a clear foul. Oh, what a badge. One elbow foul. Okay, here we go. We are in our sixth and final round. Four go! One the way. There's the hit. Nah. He's got nothing there. But nice sort of stop there. It's all over. And Lars Robaken takes this 5-1 to one win super match in his return to the world of arm wrestling. <laughs> the press monster just switch up the game and uh, put a sneaky one on all of us and top rolled for four rounds five rounds to win this arm wrestling match